All right, in this video, we're going to look at a centered fixed width content. So we'll look at the box model, how we can, how CSS can control width, height, padding, border, margin, all that stuff, background colors, and then yeah, the centered fixed width content. So our website right now, like it looks, it looks all right, right? We've got a title, a nice image, little paragraphs, some ingredients and stuff. Um, but if I were to make this a large page, it's like you know, wow, look at all this blank space here. This isn't good. Um, what I'd like to do is have all of this content centered on the page. Um, and no matter what size of screen, right? Monitors can be different sizes. Um, so if I were to have, let me actually just stretch this out a little bit, right? I should be, no matter what size it is, I want it to always kind of take up the center of the page. So it looks good on, like it looks all right on any size monitor. I don't know if it'll look good. Like it's not like a beautiful design, but whatever. Um, so let's see how we can do that. Now, one of the first concepts that we need to understand for that is this idea of the box model. And I think right here, W3Schools has a CSS box model, which basically every element can be thought of as a box, where there's the width and height is the width and height of the content. And you can have a border around the content. Padding is the space between the border and the content. And margin is the space outside of the border um, between the border and other elements on the page, right? And there's kind of a cool tool, actually. If we um, right-click and go inspect, we can actually see all of the elements here, right? And it highlights the elements and stuff. And it'll actually show you a little diagram down here, right? Where it'll show you, oh, what's the padding? What's the, well, there's the margin, right, around it. Um, so if I select the H1, Oh, sorry, it should show right up for the H1. This is the margin. It has a margin top and a margin bottom. It doesn't have a border. It doesn't have any padding really. There's the content. Anyway, so it gives you a little diagram there. Um, but the box model diagram here, yeah, really get that kind of in your head of what's, what's what. Um, now, I'm just going to close this for a second. Let's play around with border first. And I'm going to put a border around the body. So I'm going to go border. And there's all sorts of commands here. Border bottom, border top, left, right. You can be specific. But if you just go border, it's kind of a shorthand property. Um, the basic way this works is you can specify a thickness. So maybe two pixels. You have to, the, you must do this one a, a style. So we're going to go solid. And then you can give it a color. Let's just go black. And you'll see now that this is a border around the body. Um, again, actually, you know what? I want to do this one. If you click this arrow here, you can actually hover over and select elements. See, it shows the margin above and below. And there, there's my body. Uh, I, I, anyway, it shows the margin around it. Now, the body, by default, um, yeah, see, it has a margin of 8 pixels by default. The user agent style sheet, that's what is we didn't control it from our style.css. These are the styles from our style.css. But it by default has a margin of 8 pixels. Um, so we could get rid of that if we wanted to. Right? If we wanted to put a border, we could actually go margin 0. And then the margin 8 pixels is gone and the margin 0 takes over. And you'll see it's right up against the edge of the page. Now I actually don't want to do that. We're going to change the margin to something different. But what I want you to see here, first of all, is what I want to do is I actually want to start by saying the, the width of the body is dynamic, right? It'll fill whatever space is available. I want it to have a fixed width. So we can specify that using a width property. And I'm going to go like 600, uh, 500 pixels. And I'll save that. And now you can see that the body has a fixed width of 500 pixels. Right, the border it ends here, it doesn't keep stretching to the end of the page. All right, now what's cool about that is what I can do now is I can do this margin property called auto. And what this does is it says it takes calculates all the extra space on the right and on the left, and the auto auto automatically balances so that the left and right margin are equal. So let's go here and save that. And you'll see, yeah, look at that. And now if I resize this, actually, let's uh, let's close this again for a second and just resize the entire window. 
right? You'll see that it automatically balances the left and right margin, so it's always in the center. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now we can make uh, change some appearance here. We could also, on the body, do a background color and give it a background color of maroon, let's say. Keep that consistent color. <laughs> and now, of course, okay. So, I have, oh yeah, I, I did this wrong, sorry. What I need to do here is actually go to my HTML and realize that, oh, I actually want my body to have a white background, but I want the whole document to have the maroon. So I actually need to take this background color. I'm just going to hit... So one thing that's cool about VS Code as well is if I want to cut this entire line, I don't have to select the entire thing. I can just have the cursor on this line and hit Control X and it'll cut the entire line. I now want to go HTML and hit Control V to paste the line here. So the HTML will have a background color of maroon and the back body doesn't have a background color. It's transparent, so we're seeing the HTML background. But if I give this a background color of white, then we have the HTML maroon background and the body has a background color of white. And that looks a little better. Now, the next thing in this box model is the padding, right? So see how the text goes right up to the border there? It would be good to have some space between the border and the content. So again, that's on our body here. We want to go padding. And if you give it one number, 50 pixels, the padding, the 50 pixels apply on the left, right, top, and bottom. It applies on all sides. So we can control that a little bit um, better by saying, um, giving it two numbers. So if I go 50, let's change that actually to 25 pixels and then 75 pixels. If I do padding with two numbers spaced out like this, the first number applies to the top and bottom and the second number applies to left and right. So now I have a little bit of padding top and bottom, 75 pixels left and right. And this image here I think should fill the, the page. So you know how we did this with a 500 pixels? Let's go here, where's my image? Right here, also with the 500. So it fills the full space there. And then this side and this side is equal around the image there. Okay, and uh, I don't think we need that border anymore. That border was just to see the difference between the HTML and the body, but we can see that now with the background colors. Um, so let's get rid of the border. I'm just gonna hit Control X on that line to get rid of it. Um, and then you can do things like, uh, like maybe actually I want a little bit of space, this white to stand out, so I can actually do a margin top here. Um, so again, the margin auto applies on all sides, left, right, top, and bottom. Um, but the left and the right do the magical balancing, the top and the bottom don't, because height, height always works a little differently with web pages. It's a little trickier. Um, <clears throat> but we can specify maybe 50 pixels top and bottom, and then that pushes it from the top of the page there. And you can kind of center it on the, or not center, but move it away from the top a little bit. And you can soften these corners. Now I'm just playing around with stuff here. Um, the body, we can do something called the border radius. And then the, the larger the number, the more curve it gets. So that's just 10 pixels. If I did like a 50 pixels, it's much of a bigger curl around it. Let's go back, Control Z, back to the 10, just to soften the corners a little bit. All right, and you know, I think I'm going to stop there. Okay, you don't have to do this. You can keep it up to the top. That's fine. But that's the idea of a background color. And again, it's a cent the content is centered. It's a fixed width, right? No matter what size of screen. So when I when I mark your assignments, I'm going to do this. I'm going to change the size of the mo of the browser window to see if it stays that fixed width, right? So it doesn't get smaller, it doesn't shrink, it just stays that fixed width. If it's too small, sorry, it won't look good on a phone, but on, on any desktop computer, any monitor, it should be should be centered, no matter, bigger screens will just have more border, right, or more background. Smaller screens will have less background. All right, so again, the key concepts on that one was the box model, the idea of controlling the, the width, and you can control the height too. Padding, border, margin, this background color, and that centered fixed width content. 
I just remember you have to give it a width, do that margin auto thing, and then often some padding. All right, hope that made sense. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.